Hello, my name is Jill. Welcome to The Nomad Life. And today we're talking about how to build your own book of wisdom. Now this is an idea I came up with a long time ago because uh, when I was backpacking through Europe as a young girl, I would tear pages out, which was very common, to lighten the load in my backpack. And now that I'm in a trailer, so I have much more space, I don't have room for the whole library of books that I had to give away. That was like, that and my kitchen stuff was the hardest thing to let go of. I love my books. <laughs> so, but one of, like, so one of the ideas I've had is to create one place it's windy again, whatever, was to create one place where all the important stuff is. Not documents like birth certificate, that kind of thing, but my go-to. So my plan here at Survival Road, Jill Elizabeth and at doiteveryday.org is to create pages for you to print out. So I'm going to be doing something like this, creating uh, one or several pages for you to print and then you can keep for your own personal book of wisdom, deciding what you want to do. You can use, you know, like a file of facts kind of a deal. You know, put the information in there. Uh, do, you know, like a great big notebook where you can have lots of different things. You can have printed pages. You can have, you know, these kind of sleeves where you put information in. You can divide it up with pages. I haven't fully decided, but I think for myself, I'm going to have two and one, I'm going to have a big one so that I can put in these full pages. But one of the reasons I'm going to be putting cutouts is I'm going to create a second pocketbook size little book of wisdom. So in the unfortunate instance where we have to take our, what we can carry on our bodies and our backs, I have something little that I can take with me with important stuff. And those are, you know, recipes like this is a recipe for dehydration. I've also got on the website posted one for Dicon solution, which is something to use that sterilization. More people die of infection than gunshot wounds. Something to think about. I also have on the website for sale, instead of regular ebooks, I have, you know, P PDF uh, booklets. I have a full books, but I also have short booklets. And part of these pages are workshop pages. And so, one of the things that I have learned over the course of my life is that if you don't do the work, nothing changes. One, most people don't read. Two, almost nobody does the actual pages, answering in the questions and those kinds of things. It does not keep me from trying. And then, so you'll find those kinds of things on the website that you can print out and use. And also, occasionally, this is a great big exercise book that's available for free. So I'm going to start posting stuff for free. Um, I'm going to start posting stuff, you know, for a very low price as a way to support all of this product or content that I've been producing. The most important thing is what is most essential for you as you travel on your journey on Survival Road, whatever that looks like. And a side note about supporting the website, the videos, the content is I don't like donations. I don't want charity. I do like the idea of investment. So what I'm trying to do is give you information that's important, but I'm going to have the condensed version for those of you who'd like to do a more uh, monetary kind of investment into these processes by buying the content. So it's not that the information is not available to you. My goal is to take the information, condense it from all the generic explanations into the real practical stuff, what's applicable for you in your life to save you that time and money. If you don't, if you don't have money and you've got time, all this information is always available somewhere out in the world. It just takes some time to dig it all out. So I think that's a fair exchange of ideas in which both of us win. I will invest in you, you will invest in me, and together both of us will hopefully invest in creating the kind of world that I think we both want to live in. I hope so. I would like to live in a world that is awesome, even if they're trying to blow it up right now. As I record this, we are on the brink. So that's my plan here over at jillelizabeth.net under store. You should be able to find all these. And then each week I'll be posting other things for you to add. So again, how will you build your book of wisdom? One page at a time. <laughs>
with that. We'll see you next time.